just again in summary, if you are dreaming about blood, it's usually associated with the flow of life. You think about what blood does for our body, it transports oxygen and other nutrients and things around the body so that the right things get to where they need to be. Um, and, and that's its, its purpose. If there's no flow of blood, we are dead, basically. Um, and also the second thing to note is it's not normal for it to be seen. Again, like especially blood, actually. If, if you see blood, it's because somebody's got a wound or there's been a fight um, or an accident or, or something has happened um, which has created a situation which is not supposed to be normal. So it's about the flow of life, but to see it is um, not not should not be a normal thing as, as part of our, our everyday life except in very specific circumstances like maybe in an operating theater but that would kind of be about it yes and it's interesting because i did um i had i had a look at blood and um when we think about the hebrew word mem it's the same word for waters actually so the he the Hebrew letter mem, I apologize, is the same as waters. And it's interesting because uh, the concept of mem is blood, the ocean, the rivers. And um, yeah, so that's actually the water that flows like a river um, on the earth that brings life to the earth is the same um, as us and our, the blood that flows through our veins is the life bringer. It brings oxygen to all our cells. And if we don't have blood, it's it's going to be, um, it's a sapping out of our life. And so uh, if you read Leviticus 17 verse 11, it says the, um, the life of the flesh is in the blood. Um, and he says that I've given it to you to make atonement for your souls upon the altar. So life I mean, life in the blood, um, Jesus' blood brings life. Jesus' blood brings complete redemption. So it's a very, very interesting element. And um, for uh, we just wanted to chat a bit more about blood um, because it's it's quite an important uh, dream element. So um, it's the life of the man, and actually the Hebrew word for blood is da dam, which is Adam, mm. Adam. Mm -hmm. So it's the same as the life inside us as humans. So. Um, I do you have any other thoughts that you would just to um, uh, that's a really good summary but um, just to say that there's um, an intertwining in that metaphor a bit like we talk about um, bread and the word that like um, the flow of water um, we think about that as a dream element is like the Holy Spirit the river the river from the temple the mm. flow of the Holy Spirit from mm. God's throne and so bl blood is like the flow of life those two metaphors sit very very close uh, the symbols sit very, very closely to each other in dreams. So if you see blood in a dream, and this is what I want to talk about, I'm going to read this dream, I want to talk about this dream, um, where the dreamer sees blood. So let me read it and you can tell me your thoughts on it. Mm. I dreamt I was on a school campus at night in an American city. I saw an African youth who looked sheepish and was minding his own business. Two other African youths approached him with a gun and an intention to force him to do their will or shoot him dead. There was a struggle, the gun went off and the attacking youth was shot dead. I witnessed all these events. The original youth was left holding the gun. I could hear him thinking that I'm holding the gun and I have blood on me and I'm black. No one is going to believe I didn't do this. So um, let's have a think about, because in this dream, there's blood and you yes. can see blood. So I just wanted to hear what you had, what your thoughts were on, on the whole thing. Yeah, it's, um, it's, a, it's a really interesting dream, isn't it? I mean, the, the center of this dream actually is some, so somebody has been attacked um, and there's been a struggle. It's like one of those movie scenes, you know, where two, two people are struggling and, and they're like they're close up to each other and the gun goes off and you're kind of like, oh my goodness, is who's, who's actually got the shot? Who's got shot here? Um, is it the person who's um, doing the attacking? It, it, it's come back on them or is it the person that they were trying to get in the first place? And it turns out it's the person who was doing the attacking. Um, but then the innocent party in it has um, felt like they're going to get blamed for the whole thing. Mm. So, I mean, you know, again, guns, we're talking about um, uh, like quite targeted, personal, authoritative words designed to like pierce and, and, and attack. Um, 
and it, it, clearly there's some kind of struggle going on here. I mean, it's a fight, it's a confrontation. It's, it's probably talking about people who've had some kind of argument. One person's tried to go to the other um, to, to attack them, um, and the other person has struggled with them. And in the struggle, it's kind of ended the relationship. But the person who's left standing kind of feels like, um, I'm going to get blamed for this. That there's no way that I that that I, you know because I'm an African. It's like people are just going to suspect it's me because they know what I'm like. So that's it. There's been an argument. People know what I'm like. They're just going to blame me for this, even though it's not my fault. And then the, the mist of blood on the jacket is kind of evidence that he, it was that person that did it. It's actually like it's like a CSI thing. It's kind of like a but proof that they, obviously, they, they they were involved in it, right? Obviously he didn't and that was like if I get the blood seen on me but that means it, the, the blood shows that there's been a death. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. And or, blood, blood is often, uh, blood in dreams can be evidence of um, conflict, struggle, um, and, and in, a, in a really kind of in a bad way, you know, and, and because it's the flow of life, it's like somebody's lost life. The life has flown out of somebody's body in, in this struggle that's that's taken place. It's damage, you know, yeah. it's, it's like it's difficult. These are, these are not just um, the kind of arguments where we're arguing about whether we're going to have um, a pizza or burgers tonight. These are like really deep our relationship is over kind of arguments, you know? So that's interesting. So if that's like um, blood as in a crime scene or or, or seen on, uh, on as blood splatter. Yeah. So, but what would it mean if um, you, in a dream, saw a nurse taking blood as a test or in a test tube um, at council offices? Because I got sent that as a question. What does it mean if a nurse took some blood for a test at council offices? Oh, it's interesting, isn't it? I mean, a... Um... I think the key in this metaphor is it's a test, right? So somebody's doing the testing and it's a nurse. Um, so that's somebody who's involved in caring. So it's somebody who is involved in caring, um, is is testing the, the flow of life of, of, of the dreamer. Um, this could be good um, and, it could be, and it could be bad. Um, if it's good, then it is some either a human or an angelic person um, who is um, wanting to make sure that your blood is okay so your flow of life is is okay your, your kind of your your spiritual flow of life is okay um, because if there's something in it they would want to do something about it but there's obviously there's also the negative meaning of a test where um, you somebody would who looks like they are supposed to be caring is testing you to see if you're kind of acceptable you know it's like um you know, there's the certain things that you can and can't um get if on on the basis of a blood test you know when um like you can't give blood if you've been in certain countries like within two or three years because it's just too risky so you you can test blood to exclude somebody from something as well um, and pick up a problem in the negative sense um, and not just for healing. Could but it be it, something to do with a bloodline or a family bloodline? It could be actually. I mean, as a metaphor, so whatever's in the blood, it could be if it's a genetic test. I mean, there's nothing in the dream which says whether the, what the test was for. Um, but if somebody's testing your genetics, then that would clearly be like they're looking for things in your family family line. I mean, you in, or you interpreted a dream once as well. Um, where somebody got shot, but the person, I, I don't know if you want to chat about that dream a bit. Yeah, yeah, this was a, a, so, um, a, another dream about blood. Somebody was descending, the dreamer said they were descending from steps of a large official building. A shot rang out from a crowd. The, the dreamer said she thought it hit her husband, who was standing next to her, but it actually hit her in the stomach. Um, hu there were huge amounts of blood, but she kind of felt at peace and not panicked. So then that's a really, really like interesting dream mm. and actually quite troubling. Mm. Um, I, I, and again, I, it's, it's a bit, uh, this is a being, um, we were talking about stomach a moment ago, and this is being shot in the stomach. So we just like pull that, mm. <laughs> pull, pull all of that in. The, this is a targeted word. It's anonymous though, actually, because it's come from a crowd. You can't even see who shot, shot at you. Um, so it's a um, anonymous targeted word designed to pierce. She thinks it's hit her husband. So it actually might have, in the in the manifest world, come towards her husband, or that's what she thinks, but it's actually damaged her a lot more than she thought, mm. and she's lost a lot of life as a result of it. But she comes somehow feels 
peaceful about this and not panicked, which I suppose is quite kind of a good thing. She has a trust or a faith in this this situation that it's going to be okay. Um, but she should pay attention to the flat the fact that so much of her kind of life force has kind mm -hmm. of has left her. It's going to leave her very injured and weakened. Mm -hmm. And in the natural, she may not have any energy to do the kind of things that probably she and her husband were doing. Mm -hmm. There's just no life. There's no life in her. You know, when you say like. Um, do you want to go do that thing? You just say, there's no life in me to do that, mm. you know? I like, I don't have the energy to do that. It's not like I don't have the physical energy to go and watch this movie. It's just, I just don't really want to do it. You know, and I don't want to engage with it. Because um, if you um, have internal bleeding, I don't think anybody's dreamt about internal bleeding, but it'd be interesting because yeah. um, often if you're in a car crash, that's always the worst yeah. um, incident for internal bleeding and that often would speak about two ministries that have clashed yeah. and caused internal bleeding to both of them yeah so it's like a, it's a blunt force trauma accident yeah. you know like being struck with a weapon that can also is internal bleeding so yeah um blood is a very very interesting dream element yeah